Hello, namaste. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Saturday and Sunday. That's Saturday the 11th and Sunday the 12th of August. So extra special welcome to you um, if you're my one of my Temple of Balance patrons or a um, Pillar of Light family member and also all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Hi Andrea, hi Janice, um, hi Tanya, hi Alma. Um, if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards and I'm going to be looking for the best card for Saturday the 11th of August and then the best card for Sunday the 12th of August and then the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today so I'm not doing personal readings. This is general guidance for everyone so I trust that you've been led here for a reason. So just remember to take on board what feels right for you and let the rest go. Not everything's probably going to make sense to you and that's okay. So just come into this um, connection, allowing yourself to be surprised and we'll see what comes up. I have no idea what I'm going to be saying. I'm just going to totally trust in my cards and my intuition. So that's probably all I really need to say to begin with. So let's get started. I'm looking now for the best card for Saturday the 11th of August. So Saturday the 11th and I trust 100% that the best card will find its way to the top. That's the best card for the majority of us. If it's not quite Saturday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance or um, if it's still Friday, please have a look back on my video for Friday. You'll find that in the video library on my main Facebook page, Temple of Balance, or on my website in the video library. So Saturday the 11th of August, the best card is this. It's got a little crease in the corner. Hmm, what is it? <laughs> Here. Oh, it's integration card 19. This is interesting. It says settling, grounding, nature and calm. So this says that there's a, um, a general feeling of things settling down for us on Saturday or at least for the most part of Saturday. It may not be all day, but for the most part, we might find that things start sort of settling and grounding and integrating and anchoring into our body and into our life. So what does that mean? I think of um, I think of the energy of anchoring or integrating like a leaf unpinning from a branch and as it unpins itself from the branch and it in slow motion finds its place where it's going to settle on the ground that's what energy does in us as well. So there's been a lot of new energy coming in there's been a lot of I don't know if chaos is quite the right word, but it has really been a little bit chaotic, but not in a negative, overwhelming sense, unless we've allowed it to sort of go over that tipping point. But it's more of a, an intense, chaotic, um, <laughs> new energy that's been coming through. So Saturday sees that some of us at least may have that time and be in the space of letting this energy settle now. We may be inspired to step out into nature and um, I don't know if, what it's like where you are but it's just this gentle misty rain here. So I certainly won't be stepping out into nature um, but I can certainly feel the energy and just feel so comforting and so beautiful to have that rain happening outside. So how can you let this energy settle into your body? What you've been feeling this week or these last few days, how can you let that settle now? How can you perhaps spend some time nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, doing things that support you? I've just spent the last hour looking ahead at my month of September and looking where I can find some time to be offline. So. That's what I've been doing already this morning. So even if we can't 
uh, you know, even if we're busy today and we don't have a lot of time now in this moment to settle, perhaps there's an energy around too that's encouraging us to look ahead if we are very schedule based, if we do work with people or work with clients and we work around certain things that we do. Is there a time period next month that we can find a few days or a week or two to just take a break? So that's the energy around for Saturday. It sort of feels a little bit ungrounded, even though there is a grounded feeling to this card. It feels a little bit like we're preparing. It's like the, the leaf has unpinned from the tree and it's now coming down to find its place on the ground. So we might not feel that it's settled on the ground yet. It might still be kind of mid flight if you like as it finds its way so trust what you feel you need to do to let this energy settle for you and really make some time for you for your self-care your self-nurturing and taking a break from things that are perhaps a little bit consuming at the moment so that's that for Saturday let's now look for the best card for Sunday the 12th of August Sunday the 12th We'll see what it is. Joseph is taking a break all next week. That's wonderful, Joseph. You enjoy. I trust you have a wonderful week. Gina says, beautiful day here. Wonderful. Lovely to see you all. So the best card for Sunday the 12th is this here. <laughs> this doesn't happen very often, but it just cracks me up when it does. So... Ta-da! We've got card 19, integration again. So just repeat what I just said. Is there anything else I want to add? Um, I don't actually. I just feel it's quite self-explanatory because I've just been talking about it quite in depth. Um, so a weekend by the look of it to potentially slip into settling and grounding, connecting with nature and really letting ourselves calm down. We might have all lots, <laughs> not very good English. We might have all sorts of things that we have to do. And sometimes if we need to, we just need to say, no, I can't do that today. Or no, that's not working for me right now. And just taking a break from some things that are almost on the verge of overwhelm. So something to consider, something to implement perhaps for some of us this weekend. Um, for me, like I said, I'm implementing this for September, but I've certainly been thinking about this. So allow yourself some space to nurture, settle and calm down. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Like we might have things that put pressure on us or people or our work might put pressure on us. But what I've found for the most part is that we tend to put the pressure on ourselves so that's probably something a lot of us are looking at this weekend. How much pressure we're putting on ourselves and is it necessary? Can we release that pressure? Release that pressure really in our life. And that might be also about what this weekend's talking about is releasing that pressure valve. If we've been feeling things start to go towards overwhelm or if we've already hit that, then it might be necessary to look at some taking some measures to um, either stop it or um, find our centre again. So I'm now looking for the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. So the theme card will help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Saturday and Sunday. And we'll go with this card. It's got no bend in the corner. So I know it's not the integration card. It is this, it's the Yogi card 32 and it says teacher, student, wisdom, study and leader. This talks about learning new things this weekend and really stepping into our role as the student or as the teacher and perhaps both because, well, can we, can we be in both? the student and the teacher at once? 
something to think about perhaps if that's important to you but definitely a learning energy around this weekend so this can be something quite personal it could be something quite traditional and quite literal where we actually go and sit in a class and are learning something but there's a lot of things that we're learning now personally so a lot of self discovery a lot of understanding a little bit more of who we are and and uh, learning I want to say learning the lessons, but lessons doesn't seem that like the best word. Learning the, um, oh, well, no other words coming to mind. So I mean lessons, but lightly. I'm not talking about it in a heavy, very um, specific sense, but learning the lessons, learning what life has to offer us. Learning about ourselves is something big that we're learning at the moment too. So What is it about learning or leading? Learning something new, perhaps leading the way that speaks to you at this time. And how can you connect in with your inner teacher, your inner student and learn? Are you thirsty to learn something new in a certain area? If you are, can you take steps to um, nourish that? that desire to learn something new. So there's an element of surprise with this. I feel as we journey into our weekend that this will probably make itself more known and clearer to us too. So let's just keep it in mind. What can we learn this weekend? How can we step into our role as leader? Interesting. Thank you for joining me today. I've used my speed of light oracle cards. There's 55 cards in this deck and uh, they're available now on my website if you're inspired to work with them or learn more about them. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. Um, There's quite a few things going on at the moment. Lots of healing events. Our healing intensive program is has just finished the first week. Um, And lots of stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes that I actually can't share right now online because of restrictions that aren't from me. But that's okay. I'm working a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So there's a lot going on. If you want to learn more about what I'm doing at Temple of Balance, if you want to keep up to date or check out my resources, there's lots of free ones and there's lots of things that I create too um, every day. (laughs) Uh, If you want to learn more, just please have a look on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. If you resonate with my work and my way and my perspective and the support that I encourage, then you might really enjoy considering becoming a part of my pillar of light family so it's support pretty much every day and a current energy report that comes out every week and we do healing videos meditations and uh, it's a really beautiful intimate space so if that's something that you would like to do or take your connection with yourself deeper then please have a look at my pillar of light family so thank you so much um I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be back to share with you again real soon. So sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Thank you so much and namaste. So namaste means that the divine, the creator in me, honours and acknowledges the divine, the creator in you, that we are equal, we are one. So thank you and namaste.